Which tarot deck is the best? The Last Unicorn versus the Prisma Vision. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to take a look here at the author, artist, publisher, packaging, the cards, the artwork, and then a little final comparison between these two amazing tarot decks that are very unique. Um, the Last Unicorn on the left is based on the movie, The Last Unicorn, if you haven't seen it, and it comes inside that bag. Um, inside the bag, you're going to find a small guidebook and the cards, and um, they are super cute. When you when you buy them, um, I found these on Etsy, and you can get a more deluxe package if you want that also comes with other features like a cloth with the unicorn on it for you to do your reading. The cards are super luxe. They're very thick and they have um, kind of like a gold edging and then they also have gold foil and they're very soft and luxurious and the illustration is amazing. Um, so like I said, the um, the information is coming from the theme of The Last Unicorn. The guidebook is written by Kayliana um, and uh, John Taylor. And let me see here. I think the illustration is sort of like um, based on the original film. It's, uh, it's, um, <laughs> Shenzhen Wing, Wing, Wang Jing Printing Company. So, like, I'm sorry, I'm butchering all of the names for the little booklet here. Um, and the foreword has some information about, um, uh, you know, how he came to the process of wanting to make the deck for the last unicorn and, and his associations with it. Okay, so... On to the other deck. I chose these two to pair them together because they're, vo they're both very narrative, one being based on a literal film, The Last Unicorn. And um, this one, uh, this one is really unique because the cards lay out together in sequence and they, uh, they tell a story. So I'm not gonna lay them all out here. If you want, you can do your own research online. Other people have photographed all the cards. But basically, one card bleeds into the next um, for the minor arcana, like the wands here. The major arcana, like the magician, is just an independent card. It, they don't bleed together. Um, but that really helps you kind of understand the story of the tarot. And this artist, um, James, um, James Eads, uh, this is the fifth edition, and he's got a different um, edition coming out, which is currently on Kickstarter, and it's super popular. He's an amazing artist. If you're not familiar with his work, then you definitely have to check it out. Catherine Tomes is the uh, writer, so it's the collaboration between the two of them. And um, like I said, these are basically, I think they're, they're self-published because they do the fundraising on Kickstarter. Currently, the one that he's fundraising for, Cosmo Visions, which I'm excited about, is very similar. And I think he's raised, you know, over like 300, almost 400,000 with thousands of subscribers. So these two, both very popular, super luxe, beautiful illustrations, nice guidebooks, which one would you get um, and, and why? Let me know in the comments if you have an opinion. And when it comes to me, between the gold, the butterfly, the silver, the eye, the stories, I, I have to have both. And they pair really nicely together when you're doing readings. So I hope you've enjoyed this and um, check out my other videos. Bye.